I'm busy signing. I keep forgetting my passwords. I'm telling you. I'm going to have to write them down on a piece of paper. Okay, Facebook is this one right here. Keep it in your pocket. So you'll know where it is. What's popping off? How y'all doing? Roger Real D Cool coming at y'all with an open boxing and some other surprises today. Wow. This has been a crazy morning for me. Usually I mean I would have ran into these situations if I was working but I was supposed to work today. But I end up working something later. Bow. What a day. So let's uh make sure Facebook wanna know too much stuff. I can see myself live while I'm looking on the computer, looking at myself live. Is that me? Am I moving? Am I moving the groovy? Let's hit the play. See if I can see myself live on the other computer. Nah, it ain't that me. It ain't that me see myself live. Am I? I don't know. Anyway, hope everybody's doing well. You know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm talking about. All right. Teresita, Mike, Sean, Charles. What do y'all want to talk about first? What do y'all want to talk about first? Do y'all want to talk about what I talked about earlier in an earlier video? Nah, we already talked about that. We already talked about Jesus Christ, Christ, God, Heavenly Father, people straying away from the faith. We already talked about that. If you want to see that, look at that video. This is the open boxing and some other surprises. Wow. So what y'all start with first? Y'all start with the open boxing? No. Should I start with the open boxing or should I open? Should I talk about something else? Okay. Oh How you doing, Miss Pope? I'm going by Green Street Consignment, right? I'm going to go right past it. I said, no, nah, let me go in here. See what they got going on. What's going on, Derek? Hope you're smelling good, brother. I said, let me go ahead on in here and see if they got a consignment shop. Because I haven't been in that one in a while. So I said, I'll go check out what's in the consignment shop, right? I bet. Here we go. Bada bing, bada boom. I just came from TJ Mag. Came from the post office picking up the packages, whatever. Bam. I turned the green sheet consignment. So I walk in. I look at a pair. I look at a watch. I look at a chain, a Tiffany chain. And I look at a pair of Michael Kors sunglasses. So then she said, well, check out men's department. I said, yeah, you can to come here. Not a lot in the men's department, but I'll check it out. So I walk up to the men's department. I'm looking around. I know I'm looking for shoes. But I know I picked up a nice pair of shoes from the thrift store the other day, barely worn by uh, Marona. Did you call Marona? Some, uh, some uh, uh, wingtip, nice shoes, $5. Can't beat that, OK? Simon shop, let me stop in here and see what they got. So I walk back there. Oh, I gotta turn myself down. Here I am. I don't wanna see myself on TV. Alright. I was looking at myself on Facebook on other computer. That's crazy. It's throwing me off. I gotta turn it down. Do y'all hear me? In my computer. That's crazy. Alright, turn it down. I walked in, and see, for me, y'all, I can't see below this line where I see everybody talking. I can't, I want to see who's chiming in. What's going on, Elvis? These were up on the, on the, on the, on the shelf. So I looked at them. I was like, some ugly sleeves. Ugly sneaks. Prada makes some ugly sneaks. So I said, well, I said, but well, they look too small anyway. Check it out. Check it out. There's no wear on these. There's barely any wear on these Prada sneaks. Prada. I said, oh, these are authentic. She said, we don't take in stuff that's not authentic. All that stuff is definitely, we make sure our stuff is not you can't fake product stuff anyway. So, I said, well, he said nine. She looked inside and said nine and a half. I said, well, I wear 12s and I got them on my feet. Forgot to show up the inside. Right? 
But I got on thin socks. I got on these. But, so I said, well, let me put them on, right? So I put the Yamines on. And obviously, if I got them in my hand, they fit. I'm like, yo, these joints fit. Now, of course, they won't fit with tube socks. But I wouldn't wear these with tube socks. You know what I'm saying? So, put them on. Holla at your boy wanted. Bars. Hold on. Where they go out of Okay, okay. So I'm popping off. You know what I mean? And, and I'm like, yo, a pair of Prada's? A pair of Prada sneakers. High top. High top Prada's. For $42.95. $42.95 for a pair of Pradas. Now, I'm like, okay. I said, they can't be right. So, I had that tag and I had another tag. The other tag, like it said, something else. I couldn't tell. So, when I took it to the register, I was like, well, y'all look it up. Look it up and, you know. But it looked like I saw another price. That's all I'm going to say. It looked like I saw another price. But the original sticker I saw, it says high top. I took a picture of it and everything. It says $42 for a pair of Prada high top patent leather mesh black and white sneakers. Now, again, I'm not going to trip because... Hey, they checked them out. They say they're not pretty. They're not the prettiest products in the world, but they're products. And they feel good. <laughs> I, I never had a pair of feet in products in my life because I don't have money like that. Y'all might think I do, but I don't. Nice products. They feel real good. It's like running, it's like dunking. It's like shooting some. Yo, dog, you playing ball in Prada's yet? Because that's how I do, because I play ball in Prada's. Popping off. So anyway, that's what happened this morning. So I try to tell y'all, check out consignment shops. You never know what kind of deals you're going to get. Not only do I have a pair of Prada sneaks I bought from there, I also have a Prada leather jacket. I bought these three jackets for 800 No, no, $660. I bought three jackets. I bought a Prada leather. If y'all look, y'all see I had it on before. I bought a Bottega Veneta. And I bought a Salvo Corp Ferragamo. All those jackets in mint condition. $660. And it just came at the right time when I got my tax return. Perfect timing. Perfect timing. So I grabbed those. I got a pair. I I got a pair of Nikes that I bought. Some collectible Nikes for $22. Y'all want to check them out? Since we're talking about consignment shop, I'm going to put these babies up. I probably rarely wear them. Prada's. Consignment shop, And I don't show you the stuff to brag about it. I show you the stuff to let you know you can get good deals. Sometimes you don't have to go to and pay all these high bucks for the stuff. Somebody wore them a couple times. You saw those was barely worn. They ain't have like nothing on the bottom. Barely worn product for $42.95 or you ki- $85. Are you kidding me? High top products? I bought these for the consignment shop. Patent leather Converse. Patent leather Converse for the consignment shop. Probably the sticker still not on here. I was having to walk in there and I saw him. This guy was like, You buying those? I'm like, Yeah, he said, You lucky because I was just about to grab those. Patent leather. And the funny thing about this was two days after I bought these, I was going down to check out my man's show, Bo Birch, right? And he had these joints on. I'm like, 
thongs got the same sneaks on. Whatever. Consignment shop. Be twenty dollars. Twenty dollars. Consignment shop. Green sheet consignment. I bought these Pizites. Naki Pizites. These right here. Right now I'm stretching them. Because they're a little tight from time to time. So I keep shoe trees in them to stretch them out a little bit when I want to wear them. Pizites. Not a scratch on them. Green sheet consignment. Green sheet consignment. Pizites. How much I paid for these? I think that was 40 bucks. 30, 40 bucks. $200 sneakers. Look at them, they clean, not knowing them. Barely worn. I wore them more than probably the person who had them worn. 30 bucks, if I remember correctly. 30 bucks. My last pair. I can't wear these at all, but the deal was unbelievable. Some Nike collectibles. Look at these. These are like with a hologram on the back. Look at that. Well, it ain't a hologram, but it got that look. These are a pair of Nikes lace up. I cannot wear these. They're 10 and a half. I cannot wear them. Barely worn. Green sheet consignment. They had 5% or 10% going on that day. Or something like that. Like if you consign some stuff, they give you like 10% off. Something you buy. $22. $22 for a pair of Nike. Do you know how much these cost? How much they cost new? Do you know how much these cost new? Yeah. $22. And I got a pair of Ralph Lauren hiking shoes. I only wear them in the wintertime. Ralph Lauren hiking shoes. $500. $500 boots. Boots. $500 boots. $500 for those boots. I got them boots for uh, 90 Y'all bought them for 90 not even had, they didn't have any wear on them. $90 for a pair of $500 boots. I will go get them for you, but I know y'all take my word for it because I just showed you all my stuff. Green Street Consignment. They have a lot of places. You can just look it up. The one I go to mainly is in G-Town Avenue. Germantown Avenue is the one I mainly go to. As you see, I got all these patent leathers. The Nikes were patent leather. The Converse were patent leather. And the Pazites, you know, they, what the Pazites are, they boot sneaks and shoes at the same time. Well, they did boots, sneaks, and cross trainers at one time. AC cheese. 40 bucks. So anyway, check out your consignment shops. I'm telling you, people are like, they got to buy stuff new all the time. That's why they broke. What did I say? Okay. That's why they don't have no money, because they're always going out spending $1,500 pair for a pair of sneakers. No, they ain't got no money. They're trying to shine. I ain't got to spend $1,500 for a pair of sneakers. I go to the Simon shop. But the other side of that is I put a lot of stuff in the consignment shop. If I add it up correctly, they made about three thousand dollars off the stuff I put in the consignment shop. I got about eight hundred dollars back out of all that. So they made about twenty two hundred dollars off my stuff that I put in the consignment shop. I got eight hundred back. The salmon shop is 40%. I take some stuff in there I really want to sell, but it's sitting around, I can't wear it no more, whatever. I got a $64 check on the way now from the consignment shop. That's going to pay for them products. Just saying. All right? All right, now we can get to the juice. So today, I had a problem. But before we talk about that, I'm going to talk my mouth full of doing the doom cookies. <sighs> Speaking of Pateka Vanilla, like they got a new fragrance coming out. La Or de Valores. Rosewood and Leather. La Or de Rose. No, La Or de La de Valores uh, from Vitekka Veneta. So, if you're two designers, like that might smell pretty good, okay? But we're going to talk about what I'm wearing today. Hista West De Parfums, $18.99. 
somewhere today. Let's type it in. I thought I already had it, I did. It's called Hemingway. 1899 Hemingway. If you check out most of their fragrances, it deals with a year and a person, for the most part. Except for Amber 114, which deals with the 114 ingredients that's made, that's used to make Amber 114, which is an amber fragrance. I bought this from my man's store, Perfumes de France, down in Virginia, uh, last year. And it smells good. Oh, fresh, spicy, aromatic, woody, cinnamon, vanilla, and powdery. Yes, indeed. That's what this, you know, I'm spraying in my hand. Because there's other things I'm going to test, test them on paper and write them down. This smells good. Smells good. I have it. I can put I have it now. Surprisingly, I ain't put I have it already. I, I got to be signed in. Well, obviously, I thought I was signed in. I'm not. Oh, here we go. So you get to change your scent. Like I'm part of Fragranica, and you can change your scent. Aha, no citrus. Yeah, how's your boy? Imagine that. All right? With all that pepper you bought yesterday, I know you're not talking about citrus. Pepper man. Anyway, let's get back to it. 1899 Hemingway. Seriously, I lost it. 1899 Hemingway. Okay. Top notes. Bergamot. There you go. There's some citrus for you. There's a citrus for you, Pepper Man. Bergamot. Bergamot. Juniper. Black pepper. Pepper. Pepper, pepper, pepper. Pepper. Middle notes. Orange blossom. Iris. And cinnamon, you can smell the iris. You can smell, that's where you get the powder from. Most of anything that says powder usually comes from iris. Iris is a powdery type note type flower, you know what I mean? Base notes, vanilla, vetiver, and amber. And this thing smells delicious. There's only one I really like from the house. Um, and uh, I grabbed this thing, uh, like I said, I was down, what you call them? And I really like it. Check it out, $18.99, lasts about six, eight hours. I'm not sure how it's projecting right now. Ain't nobody like to say, yo, you smell good while I was out today, so I don't know. But uh, yeah, it's popping off. $18.99. This bottle will cost you $185 and a half a bottle. They have one that's like half a bottle, like that, which is what I'm gonna get with my Amber 114, a half a bottle. And that's $105. So $105 for the half a bottle, and I think $185 for a full bottle. Check it out. $18.99 History West Perfume. And we're going to talk about more about this house later on as we get down with this show. Alright? We're going to talk about more of this bottle, okay? What did I wear yesterday? Man! I'm kind of thinking maybe I should have bought a full bottle of this, but I got so much juice. There's no need to spend $130. Even though this being half of... This being a third of 100 mil for $65 doesn't make any sense if you look at it, but... This is it right here. This got to be close to one of the best ones she's ever made. And she got to make this into a concentration. Roasted oak and hazelnut. She also has roasted oak and red currant, which is good too. It's a little sweet. It's sweeter than this. Roasted oak and um, hazelnut. Now my man last night showed up on my, on my YouTube page. to my yeah, man, I know about this months ago. I'm like, that's cool. I didn't say I was the first one to find this. I said, obviously other people don't have had this already. I'm the first brother to do, or man, or dude, to do a review of this on YouTube is what I was saying. He was like, man, I done had that for two months. Okay, fine, bro. Okay, it's cool, bro. He's like, no big deal. But I'm the only brother that done, done a review on this because I looked it up before I bought it. And there's only two females talking about they got down with this like that. All right? Roasted oak and hazelnut for the dudes. Roasted oak and red corn for the women. Or a man can wear both, and a woman can wear both. Really, it's it's friendly like that. It's really friendly like that. And you get like, you know, there's notes in here you really don't think you're gonna smell. I smell a little floral in this, but it doesn't say there's floral in here. It says it's roasted oak and hazelnut, as far as I know. Let's look it up and see. Let's look up roasted oak and hazelnut. I thought I had it up already. 
Okay, roasted. No, 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 is it roasted oak? No, that's that's the note that's in it. Oh man, hazelnut. Joe Malone, let me type in Joe Malone. Alright. Roasted. But now I don't know why I keep putting roasted in it because it's not called roasted. Rod, you look at the bottle. English oak. English oak. That's all I'm trying to be perfect. We ain't got to cut away from this and come back in with the correct thing. Cut out. Come back in. You ain't got to do that. You ain't got to do that. Roasted oak and hazelnut. Well, if you sniffed this a couple weeks ago, there's just no reason why you, you don't have it. Because this lasted all day. They should make an intense version, but I'm telling you. This, I would... I, this lasted all day yesterday. All day. Not a problem. Woody, nutty, earthy, aromatic, and sweet. $65 and $120 are the sizes. 30 mil and 100. The nose is fragrance is Jean Yasnia. Nice brand new. Top note hazelnut. Middle note cedar. Base note oak. That is it. That's all you need to know. Oh, the other thing you need to know is uh, buy it. Buy it. Get it wherever you're going to get. Small, large, buy it. You're gonna really like it. You're gonna really like it. Let's break it off to the music real quick. Let's congrats, congratulate my man, Woot Hellerman, for his new release, Symphonic Soweto. A tribute to Nelson Mandela. He sent this out to me. Woot Hellerman, as you can see, that's his address. He's won two Grammy Awards, and he's a friend of mine. Yes, I can say I actually know a Grammy winner. Not only do I know a Grammy winner, I know a two-time Grammy winner. Actually, I know my man Greg also who won a Grammy. And he sent me this beautiful package. He always has beautiful, beautiful packages when he sent his CDs out for consideration for Grammy nomination, Grammy vote. So Symphonic Soweto. And the music is great. I went to, we had a party. And there's Wood on the front right there on Flout. He plays some flute. That man can play some flute. He did this beat thing. And it was banging, man. Y'all should have saw that. Maybe I'll post it today. Him playing the flute at our Grammy meeting. He was getting it in. That's Wooter, my Grammy nominated friend. How are you doing? He sent this out with his name. Okay? He always had beautiful CDs. And we gotta thank his partner, Theosi. She she is just great. She is great. She's his manager. Look at this. Always so beautiful. Always so detailed in his packaging. Always. He got a book. He got a mini book here. And you should see the videos he's done also. He's done some videos as well from the Symphonet, Symphonic Soweto. So check him out, Woot Kellerman. This is not out yet for purchase. I'm not sure. He just had these out right now for, um, for Grammy nomination for us to consider to vote on. Wooter Kellerman. Wooter Kellerman. Two time. Two time Grammy Award winner. His last Grammy he won with um, we are Ricky Cage, who is another great composer. He's from India. Wooter is from South Africa. He's from South Africa. And Ricky Cage is from India. My two Grammy friends. Yep, I have two Grammy friends. I feel good about that. That means I might win a Grammy this year. Because I had great. And not to shout out to Kev, my other Grammy friend. Kev won a Grammy in 2012. All right. It's time for me to get my Grammy. All right. We're going to stick with this because this is pertaining to this house of histories de parfums. Okay? I'm trying to pronounce this correctly. It looks like it says histories, but it's not. His or res. His or res. His or res. See? His or res. His or res. Dear perfumes. Okay? Let's pack open this. And this should be my sample set. Because I want to sniff the sample before I bought any more of these. I want to buy some more. I'm going to buy two. They have like the small bottles, 15 mil for $35. So, but it's best, I think, like I said, to get the sample package first. Now this is an old sample package. 
Because I've seen the sample packages that everybody else had from them, and it doesn't look like this. Theirs look more nicer, bookbinder like. This right here is not a bookbinder type package. But she wrapped the mess out this bad boy. Oh, am I gonna be able to get in it? Before the video is over? Before Facebook shut me down? I'll thank them for the packaging. But I got to be able to get in it within the next two to three days. Oh man, look at this. She take this so much it'll break a pin. Look at that. I'm about to break the pin. I can't get in, y'all. Ah. Oh man. I'll be right back. Hold on, Asa. Hold on, Shannon. Oh. Can't get like that. And of course, you guys know you're listening to my CD, the Two Faces CD, which is up for Grammy nomination consideration. All right. His, his what? His why? No, 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 no. That's not it. I heard somebody pronounce it correctly on YouTube, and he always gets it right. Red lessons. I think it's his or something like that. You just saying his why? Not that. You can't get rid of the wes. Hista Wes, but that was close. Hista Wes Des Perfume. This is a sample box. And like I said, this is the old sample box. It's a new sample box. Like a nice binder. It's dark in color. Has Hista Wes Des Perfumes on it. And stuff like that. But that's okay. We have it. The sample collection. Y'all gotta keep up, dog. I'll be on this. I'll be on pop off the pop. It. And here we go. We have 10 in here, 2 mil. So we get to smell them. But we already got one, so we don't need to smell that one. We want to mainly smell the 114. That's the main one we want to smell. We definitely want to smell the 114. You get this in here, you get the pamphlet. Take out all the fragrances. I think the only one in here might not be, this is not a blue bottle. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. No, it must be in here. All 10 of them must be in here. This is not a blue bottle with the newest one though. This is not a blue bottle, really. The bottle is blue. We have 1725 Casanova. We have 1740, I can't read that close. We have 1804, uh, George Sand. 1826, Eugenie Des Monteo. 1899, which is what I have, which is um, Hemingway. 1969 is the liberation of women in 1969, uh, able to vote and all that stuff, I think it was. Uh, Patchouli Noir, and Aubrey 114. That's the one we wanna smell right now. Oh, in the back we have 1828 Jules Verne. I got a sample of that already. Somebody sent me a sample. And this is not a blue bottle. So let's go through them real quick. Okay. Let's go. Let's spray and go. Spray and go. And you're going to get to the big package. Which is going to be difficult to deal with. Alright. This says. I can't even tell what this says. I don't know. It just says. I don't know what that one says. I can't even tell what it says. Let me go with the ones that I can tell they're saying something. 1826. 1826 is spray. Somebody trying to call me, but I don't know why. I'm busy. Why she calling me? 1826. I'm going to put it right in here. Since I can't read. Okay, T26, let's spray it. Warm, spicy, patchouli, balsamic, pottery, white floral, and woody. The scents. Uh, the notes, bergamot, tangerine. Middle notes, white flower, violet, ginger, and cinnamon. Base notes, patchouli, incense, vanilla, woody, uh, amber, woody notes, and musk. That sounds like the dry down is going to be popping off on this. Let's see. I won't know tonight until I get home and check it out. But you can't spray it on my hand. 1826. Let's see what we got here. Okay. Interesting smell. It smells like something I smelled before. Smells a little mature. Definitely a mature fragrance. 
I don't smell the cinnamon. I smell the patchouli. I'm looking at the nose to tell you what I smell. I smell the patchouli. I smell the flour. That's about it. 1826. Next. I got a feeling that is, this is not a blue bottle for some reason. Let's keep on going. Nor patchouli. Okay. Nor patchouli. All right, let's get down with it. Let's pop it off. Nor patchouli. Let's spray it. And I guess no patchouli has uh, one in it. More like. Okay, this is not bad here. I'm a patchouli head. I like it. I like patchoulis. Nor pet. Nor patch. Definitely patchouli dominated for sure. You smell it right at the top of the dome. This is not bad. I like patchoulis though. That's why. All right, let's go with patchouli, coriander, cardamom. Patchouli again. Bouquet of flowers, juniper berries, base notes again. Patchouli, musk, vetiver, foam, foam, leather, and vanilla. I don't see the foam in the notes, but yeah, no patchouli is not bad. I got a lot of patchouli though. It doesn't smell anything special as a patchouli, but it does smell like a patchouli. Okay. 1804 is next. 1804, got here, 1804, good thing about for granted you just type in the numbers and it'll pop right up, 1804, sweet, fruity, warm, tropical, balsamic, and vanilla, this smells like the fragrance I told y'all on to the other day, moody, top notes, pineapple, peach, and gardenia, which you're probably messing up right there, Middle notes, jasmine, rose, lily of the valley, clove and nutmeg, definitely a woman's fragrance. Sandalwood, patchouli, benzoin, vanilla, and musk on the dry down. Let's go with it. Definitely a gourmandish or oriental. Let's see if it's an oriental group. Yep, oriental floral. Definitely oriental. And like I said, almost smells like it almost has this Nedgema 6 smell too. It almost smells like Nedgema 6 and Moody, which is a head from a, a um, from a Arabian Oud, Moody. You can pull it off, homeboys. Women will like it because it's fruity. It's not, you know, right now it's fruity. I'm not sure. When I come back later on, it might be smelling like something else. Right now it smells fruity. 1804, fruity. 1740, this is the one I was really curious about. Because I heard it's just a different type of flavor. Let's type in 1740. Marquise de Sade. This is the sadistic sex dude that this came after. Leather, warm, spicy, herbal, balsamic, and aromatic. Uh, somebody claimed they wore this as a wedding scent. There's some people who say they like it. Bergamot. Divina Sensualis, which is the mysterious note I've never smelled before. Divina Sensualis, patchouli, coriander, cardamom, cedar, elemi, leather, and lanthanum. Okay, those are notes. 1740 represents the birth year of a Parisian gentleman named Donatien Alphonse Francois, famous as the Marquise, Marquise de Sade, imprisoned many times by his lascivious, lascivious, I can't even read, lascivious, lascivious morals. This will undoubtedly have enjoyed the spicy, woody perfume invitation of pleasure. In other words, he was a freak. Let's smell the freak juice. 1740, homeboy was a freak. Here we go. Going down. Next is Casanova. Okay. Very animalic, leathery, sensualis, I smell something I smelled before, not a bad scent, it's between this and Alba 114 that I'm going to get, I'm not sure which Alba 114 I'm getting, the, I'm getting the, uh, what bottle am I getting, yeah I'm just getting a half a bottle, and then maybe I'll get this in the, uh, the, the 15 mil. 
This smells interesting. It smells like it has amber in there. I guess it's the lathanum. Creamy. Leathery. I can wear this. Because it has patchouli in it. You can wear this. It smells sexy. It does smell sexy. That dude was a freak. Freaky dinky. 1725. Casanova. Y'all heard so much about the Casanova. I never smelled this. They said it smells close to Invasion by a bar by the other people. Let's spray it. 1725. Casanova. Now this supposed to have, supposed to be kind of sweet. Has a nice vanilla core going on with it. That's what I heard. Supposed to smell a little barbershoppy. That's what I heard. I don't know. That's what I heard. Sweet, soft, spicy, aromatic. Uh, let's go with uh, fresh spicy. Floral and citrus. The other one's soft spicy. Top notes, bergamot again. Citrus is grapefruit and licorice. Middle notes, lavender, star anise. Base notes, vanilla, almond, sandalwood, cedar, and amber. Which those notes I like on the base. Let's smell it. Yeah, it does have that barbershop vibe. It smells greeny. This is what we cast Nova. I don't know, I like 1740 better. 1740 JT. 1740 actually has a um what's that John? That smells crazy by Bodicea the Victorious. What is that? Complex. This has a complex type vibe. Oh, that's crazy. This 1740 is crazy. 1740 is crazy. Yo, 1740 is crazy. I wish I could afford a big bottle of that. That's going over budget though. That's crazy. 1740 is crazy. Wow. Out of all of them so far, oh man, are you serious? 1740 is my favorite. I don't like. What is this? Oh, 114. We gotta get to 114. Got to, we gonna say that for last. 114 is last. Because that's the one I really like. But it's in the same slot. Okay. What have we done so far? 1745. Next, we're gonna go with. Um, 1969, when women were liberated and said, now you can uh, make as much money as men. That's what this is about. 1969, let's go. That's 1869. 1969, Histo Wes, Death Perfume, warm, spicy, sweet cocoa rolls and patchouli. This is probably something good. Warm, spicy, sweet, cocoa, rolls, and patchouli? Come on now. It's not smelling better than 1899 though right now. 1899 is blasting. Top notes, peach. Middle notes, rose, white flowers, cardamom, and clove. clove. Base notes, musk, patchouli, Mexican chocolate, and coffee. This should smell, mm -mm. and the two ounces is only 89 bucks. Let's go. 1969. Let's go. I don't like the first. I don't like the first sniff. They better dry down to something. No, no. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Ain't feeling that. 1899. We know what that smell like. This one win right now. Okay. 1828. This one I smelled again. 1828 is just a little too florally for me. Um, it's trying to do something. It does smell, but the thing about it is, though it's florally, it smells manly. That's the thing about it. It's florally, but it has a man's vibe to it. Like a man can wear this floral. That's what it smells like to me. I mean, it's not a bad sniff. And they, yeah, that green spicy. Like it smells like, like a twinge or something, like a, like a, uh, 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 like something really sharp, like a sharp lemon or a sharp bitter orange or something. Let's see what we got in here. Oh, it's the grapefruit. Maybe it's the grapefruit. You would like this, pet pepper man. Let's go. Grapefruit, citruses, eucalyptus. Wow. Yeah. Tangerine. Middle notes. 
pepper, nutmeg, basil, cedar, vetiver, pine tree, and incense. Almost trying to smell like some Josh juice in imaginary authors. Don't like it right now. Didn't pop off of my nose immediately. Uh, let's see. This probably, this is not a blue bottle. We're gonna label this blue bottle. We don't name it blue. We don't have to write all that. Next is this is not a blue bottle. This is not should pop right up. There you go. So they got three versions. It's like this is not a blue bottle. This is not a blue bottle 1.2. This is a blue bottle not 1.3. I'm not sure what the differences are, but I think this is just a regular. This is not a blue bottle. All the highs, musky, citrus, honey, and fresh spicy. Okay. All right. Open the aldehydes, cheerful orange zest, exchanging warm shades of honey and tart, metal shades of geranium and the heart. Base provides musk, patchouli, and amber. Let's go. Spray it out. No, oh, it is. Oh, oh, headache. Oh. It almost has that, that 1828 feel with the sharpness of the citrus. Oh, it's starting to calm down. But you still can smell, you still can smell that orange. Do they have honey in this too? Yeah, honey. And tart. It's definitely tart. Citrus, you might like this. Citrus head, you might like. This is not a blue bottle, the original. Like I said, I'm not sure about the other 1.2, 1 1.3. 1 That's that. Now, if not new, which is I'm going to purchase, not unless it doesn't smell as good. Everybody talk about Armor 114. Everybody talk about it. I got a lot of Ambers. I'm going to get uh, Ronnie is J on by Loop. I heard that's the best Amber. Besides Amber Ooh by Perfume Aroma. And then I think, uh, of course, Amber Ooh by Roja. I ain't spending no money like that. Amber Loop is supposed to be the one by Ronnie and Jay. But this is supposed to be good. I have a lot of Ambers. I never smelled, I think I, no, I can say I never smelled this. I think I smelled this in, um, in mid New York years ago. Let's go. Okay. It's not blowing me out because I have so many ambers. So let's go with 1740. Let's respray 1740 fresh. It's gonna be between these two. I think I might pull the 1740 instead of the 114. Let's see. 114? 1740. 1740 do have that sexiness. Like almost like musty, musty balls. That's the balls, my bad. This smells definitely animalic. 114 smells creamy though. Oh, it's starting to sweeten up. Let's go 114. Which means there's 114 ingredients that was used to make this fragrance. 114 fragrance. 114. That's what they said. I gotta type in the whole thing now. For some reason, it's not looking up. I think I know senior reader. This store is exactly funny. I'm going to find it this way. Amber 114. Balsamic, amber, fresh, spicy, vanilla, and aromatic. Top notes, nutmeg and caraway, middle notes, sandalwood, patchouli, vetiver, cedar rose, geranium, base notes, sataka bean, amber, benzoin, vanilla, and musk. I mean, I like it. They said it has a smell of blue amber, like Montau's blue amber. They said, oh, so smells like, what do you say? That's the Immortel? And what? The Immortel in this joint? Not the 114. You talking about the 1740s, the Immortel? That's what that's what Immortel at? That it? Yeah, Immortel. Okay, so you talking about the 1740, right? Yeah. 
They are close. They're running neck and neck. I like the 14 because it smells sweet. A woman will automatically gravitate towards this. A female will be automatically, oh, you smell so good. 1740, you wear for yourself because you just smell like man. 1740, smell like man. I think I'm going to try to sell me some more decans. Put $35 on the side. I'm, I'm going to grab the 114. I'm going to grab this in the, in the 15 mil, 1740. That's what I'm going to do. And that's going to be it. 15 mil, 1740. 60 mil of the 114. So the dust smell good. 114 is a different amber for sure. Yes, definitely. Holla at your boy, 100. It should be 60 mil. Yeah, $35 for the 15 mil for the grab that if you don't want to spend a lot of money. Dang, somebody's selling 59 bucks. 98% full. Wow. For 60 mil? For the 114? Wow, buy it now. In Jersey, Linden, Jersey. Wow, he got a lot of nice deals. Alright, he's doing $30 for the um. Wow. I just don't have 50 bucks right now, yo. I just spent some loot. I'm gonna hope it come back around again. With that being said, maybe I'll just leave. 1740 before I can find a deal on it. Wow. Wow. What history are you talking about? You saying, yeah, I want that and the history is. Which one? I'm not gonna rush now. I feel like there might be some good deals out there. I mean, instead of me paying $35, I mean, 35 is free shipping, $60, 35 is 25, 25 more dollars, I can have a 114, 98% full. That's a good deal. Should they sell an $18.95? $18.99 when I'm wearing half of this for 85 bucks. Let me do another search for Ombra 114. See what it says. Ombra 114. See if they got something else going on. Alright, see what we got. We got the rev the regular travel gonna be is gonna be thirty five dollars per. Don't try to get that maybe thirty. So you can get that. You know I'm getting mine from Bloomingdale. So that's popping off. Yeah, sixty bucks. I'm a one fourteen. Ninety eight percent full. Ain't nobody even close to that. Well, here's an old one fourteen. Wow, it's all bottle. 95 bucks though. It's probably 100 mil though. You see? Here's yeah, all 114 bottle. Ninety-five bucks. Don't say how much how much is hundred mil or what it is. Oh 60 mil. Wow, that's 60 mil for the old bottle. I don't think they reformulated these though. What is the histories though? You say and the histories. Histories is the house. So there's not one called histories, the histories. It's histories and then there's the numbers. 114, 1828, blah 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 blah. Which one are you talking about getting? I'm looking at this 114 right now. For 59 bucks. Then the New Jersey. I 
Yo, somebody selling a test of NASA Model Duo for 99 100 bucks. That's crazy. 100 bucks for a NASA Model Duro tester? 100 bucks? That's almost half the price. Oh, you gotta wait forever to get it. Oh no, item and location? Wow, in New York. Duro, deal of the month. I ain't spending no money on that. I got enough. I ain't weighing that much. But that's a good deal, so eBay from a trusted seller. 99.5 and uh, 23,000 stars. Can't beat that. But check this guy out. This guy might have a whole bunch of stuff. Let's see other items. So right now, I'm gonna hold off on the 114. I might be able to pull off a couple more decans and pull that out of my pocket by myself. Unisex fragrances. Oh, this guy in New York. That means you will get it kind of quick, like almost the next day. There you go, brother. There you go. No patchouli. Which, like I said, doesn't smell that bad, brother. It does not smell that bad. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. So that's me going through the set. Here's our SD perfume. Like I said, the new set is, looks better than this, but as long as we got a set, we got the set. I got a chance to smell them and get an idea of what I really want to buy. When I get a chance to buy it. But, uh, that 114 gotta come off eBay. That's 60 bucks for a 60 mil. That's gotta come off eBay. Yeah. Yeah, in fact, in fact, in fact, it just came off eBay. I just bought it. Yeah, I had to buy that. I had to grab that. that that's boom, bam, bam, boom, holla, your boy. If I can remember my password, which I probably don't. Oh, boy. Me and these passwords, man, are just ridiculous. Was that it? That ain't it. Should have known. I try to start tuning them down to make them simple so I can just get them in. Sometimes I make my passwords, like I try to make them like other passwords, sometimes they get a little complicated. Unbelievable. That ain't the password, I know it ain't. I'm just gonna grab it through my phone, if it's still there. Cause it's taking like forever. All right, one more try, let's do this. Cause this one from way back in the day. I want to continue as a guest because I got I got a PayPal account. That's crazy, yo. Maybe because of my email address. So make sure I jump on this real quick. Cause you can't beat that price, 60 bucks. That's that's really almost half the price. It's not popping up. So anyway, I'm gonna move on, y'all. To this other package I got in the mail. Let's move on to this other package and we're gonna call this day. Um Alright. Package in the mail. I talked about it earlier last week. Finally came, I thought it got lost. I thought I was getting scammed, I ain't gonna lie. I thought somebody was trying to get over on me. And uh, you know, cause it was a nice deal. And uh, we were bartering back and forth and getting upset back and forth and I was getting upset. The person wasn't getting upset, but I was. They had to wrap it really, really good, which they did. First thing we have here, Unwrap it. It's definitely wrapped. Did a good job wrapping it. All right. This is what we have. Oh wow, great! That was a good wrap job. 
We're bringing about none of this spilling out. We know some did kind of leak out right there. What do we have? Tobacco Vanille. Jumbo. Let's pop it. Let's pop it off. Let's pop it open. See what's popping off. My first flat cone. We're just gonna dip our finger in it. Well, first we dip a piece of paper in here. A little something on the paper there. We just wanna check for authenticity. Okay. Now what we're gonna do? Hold on a second. What time is it? Oh, plenty of time. All right. Tobacco vanille. More tobacco vanille from OG. All right. Let's spray again. Need some more paper. Where's my other paper there? How did I run out of paper just when I'm ready to spray? This is what I mean. Now, hold on. Got to look for it. Look, I had some paper laying around all the time, you know? And I don't like using paper with ink on it or nothing like that. So we'll just go with this right here. And pop it off. Okay? We're going to spray all three. Because again, it's a good deal. Make sure the deal is legit. Tobacco beneath. Okay? That's that one. This tobacco vanilla, right? Why just do it the cat? Oh no, I just did the cat. Okay, oh, no, it didn't have a cat. What I'm thinking about? And then take tobacco vanilla out of the container. I was out of this juice. I was down to like minimal, man. I wasn't even trying to spray the last bit of this out. Okay. Okay, and now, what we dip in what's on. Okay, we're gonna do it again, we're gonna do it with this one. So maybe I'll just put too much. I can't tell. I don't know whether because of the spray out or whether I dipped it. I can't tell what's up with that. So we're gonna move on. Got a box in here. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -ba. Let's pop it open. There's a couple bottles in here. Got some stuff in there. That's that. Got going on here. Let's pop this open. That 1740 still hollering at me. Oh no, it's starting to calm down now. What's 14 starting to do? 114 staying nice and sweet. I don't really have any sweet, sweet ambers. You know what I mean? This right here is. 
Crown Forts, Black Orchid. Okay. I have bottled this, so let's go check it out. Now here's a little lesson for you guys. They're actually making fake Tom Fords, okay? All right, I know, I know my bottles right here. And this is the bottle that came in the mail. You know how you can tell a fake Tom Ford? You can see all the imperfections on the bottle. Can you see it? See all the imperfections up there? Really jacked up, the lines are not lining up. That's a fake Tom Ford black. Somebody tried to get over on me, but uh, I got my money back. Gotta be careful, they're trying to do you try to do some fake black smells nothing like nothing like black orchid, believe me. My ex wore it all the time, so I know exactly what it smelled like, and I wore it. So you gonna get over on me on the time for it, black orchid. This is the last one you're gonna gag me on. This is the fake. It smells like water. Now how they fake that? The top looked kinda of legitimate too. The top is very legitimate. But it's wet. It's wet. This is my official bottle. And you kind of tell this is really, really gold. This is not as gold. Okay? So, fake bottle time for a black orchid. Be careful. Be careful you buy them online. Look for all them imperfections. They got to stick it out in everything, make it look legit. But the imperfections. You'll see them. It's all jacked up. All jacked up. And here's my official bottle. I know I bought it. And we're going to spray this. Because they ain't got that much in there. Definitely. Tom Ford, Black Orchid, one of the best. Should have been the private blend along with Sahara Noir. Sahara Noir should have been the private blend as well. But I guess because you can't really blend these with anything to make them pop off. But I heard you can blend uh, New York de New York with um, Black Orchid. You get something pretty special out of it, I heard. Okay? And now let's go with the one I just got in the mail. The bottle looks legit. Not a lot of imperfections on the bottle. The top is not as gold. It's about as gold as my top. You see? Yeah, it looks about the same, same gold-ish. Not that real shiny gold like the other one. Real gold gold. Trying to really make you think it's the real thing. And let's spray it. Okay? This is what I received in the mail. Mine. There's mine. There's I'm going to let it wear down. This is mine. Okay. And last but not least. Was sent. I'm not familiar with New York. I'm not familiar with Nor at all. Wrapped up. I don't know what the bottle looks like. The bottle. Full bottle. Let's spray it. Are oh, we still waiting for the Tom Ford's, uh, what's called an egg, right? 
Time for another one. Let's spray it. That's a big piece of paper. We don't need all that paper. Like you being economical with paper now. Let's see. Okay, this smells like normal. Okay, so I have no question about this one. Um, I think. Wrong one. We spray the fake. We don't play the fake stuff. This is not even close. That was unbelievable how somebody tried to gag me. This is not even close to, to freaking black oak and nothing. It smells like absolutely nothing. Okay, I had to double double check, man. I don't want nobody trying to get over me. You know what I mean? That's a shame people starting to get down on time for it like that. That's just really, really not cool. But that's what they're doing. They starting to, they starting to do time for it. They start doing do time for it. And this is the garbage one right here. It's a fake. All right, so we're still trying to settle in on um. On the time for it. I think we're good. We're good. Everything is cool. I say I probably because I dipped that one in the I dipped it into the flat cone. Yeah, I dipped into the flat cone. This is probably different from spraying it. So I definitely have to wait till they calm down. So what we have today? Water, water, drink a lot of water, 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 drink a lot of water all the time. Drink that water. Don't play. Water is good for you. They say get up in the morning, the first thing you do is drink 200 milliliters of water. Which is basically a half a bottle, 16 ounce bottle. Drink that. As soon as you get up in the morning. Does a lot for you. It just it smells so it's so strong, so concentrated. You know, it almost smells like it's uh what's it called? I would like I need to um I need to decant some of that. All right, so pretty much that's it. I'm gonna decan out my time for it, make sure we still cool. Gotta have a decan for them, just in case. It comes from my Killian. Yeah, it comes from my Killian. Yeah, we good, we good. It comes from my Killian uh, situation. They give you funnels when you buy like their sample sets. Not sample sets, but they, they small sets. So we're gonna we gonna try not to waste any in pouring this. We gotta be very, very careful. We're gonna do another test. Other than that, that's it. I'm gonna do this real quick while y'all here. 
Y'all can see me doing it. Just a little bit. Five mil. Yeah, the official juice. Anybody know the color? Anybody know the color? Time for it. Tobacco beneath. And that is the color. Beautiful golden color. Oh. What a deal. And let me tell you. I'm going to tell you this quick story and then we're going to be done for the day. I had uh, purchased these off of a website. I got a pretty good deal. And um, what had happened was, it was taking so long for the package to get here. And the package was not showing up on the uh, USPS site. So me and the sister going back and forth, I'm like, look, I gave you a lot of money for this. I gave you a lot of money and it's tied up. And I don't have no package yet. She's like, I really sit off to you, I'm telling you. Blah, 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 blah. I'm like, you coming at me like that? And I said, look, I'm sorry I'm coming at you like that, but I got to keep it real with you. It's, there's a lot of money I gave you. Yeah, we popping off. There's a lot of money I gave you. I need to know that I got I got my stuff. And see, here's the, here's the real juice. Here's the juice. Same color. Yep. So I'm like, you got to understand. I mean, we're talking about a lot of money. And I don't have a lot of money. I like I like buying fragrances. I'll buy some fragrances in a minute. Bada bing, bada boom, how's your boy? As y'all see, I got this from a man. Oh man, yeah, there it is. There's that, there's that, there's that here. And I just to make sure my money right. Mm -hmm. Tobacco vanilla, it's not like tobacco vanilla. Tobacco vanilla is just popping off. It is popping off. So um Yeah, so anyway, so she was like, well, look, I'm telling you, I said, I said, well, look, sis, I'm sorry, but I mean, I want to trust you, but the fact of the matter is, the fact of the matter is, I don't see it in the shipping. And if I don't see it in the shipping, I can't, I can't say that you sent it. I mean, I want to trust you. We all need to trust each other, and I know I'm coming at you, but if it, if it was like for $25, then I'll be fine. I'll be like, all right, cool. We are wait, we are wait. But when we talk about the money, money I spent for that, Y'all know I'm mean, just called retail. This right here calls retail. This is five hundred eighty-five dollars retail. So that's five hundred eighty-five dollars for that. We got the time for it noir, and then we have. Make sure you got the fake bottle. Where's the fake bottle at? Well, I'll spray them out in front. Oh, this is the fake bottle right here. So the fake bottle anyway is garbage. And then this, I got all three of these. They was not cheap. And she sent this, she said, I'll send you this for free, Black Orchid Lotion. Black Orchid Lotion. See, that smell, let's see. Yeah. Yeah. All this, so, so it wasn't sure. So last night, I'm like, look, I'm gonna cancel this order. I'm complaining. I'm calling the people who like made this possible. And I'm gonna complain, because I'm not gonna get ripped off for the amount of money that I put out for the stuff. And um, and uh, she was like, well, look, I'm telling you, brother, I would not do that to you as a female. I would not do that to you. But I said, I don't know what you wouldn't do to me, but I'm telling you right now, um, I, I'm, not, I'm not getting down like that. I'm not getting down like that. Um, no, no, no way. So, pretty much, that was the situation. I go there today to pick up this, and I get the box with the stuff in there. Now I feel kind of bad because I really didn't trust her, but look here, that's a lot of money. All right, so that's it. So to wrap up, Mr. West Perfume, we went through that, we checked that out, we did our thing, bada bada bing. We went through authent auth authenticate, authenticating the tobacco vanilla and all those. They've been authenticated, we good to go. So you know what that means? These two are for sale. 75? No. 80? 70. Buy them together, 140. 140 you can have both of these. Really? No. 150 you can have both of these. Shipped. 150 you can have both of these for 150. If not, 80 and 70. 80, 70. 100 mil. This is $150 full. And y'all know this is, this is a buck 10, buck 20 full. Talk to me. 
Alright? And that's it. Went through the shoes. My Prada's, I put up the Prada's I got from the uh, consignment shop. And that's it, man. I'm out. That was a long time. How many times? It's a long time I was doing all this, right? We're going to go and uh, get me something to eat and get ready to uh, go and take care of some business. So, thank y'all for chiming in. Y'all can look at the video again. I know it's awfully, awfully long. Yep. Sometimes it goes like that when it's like me. I do light, long videos. But I don't like doing pieces of video. I like to take y'all through the the whole process. And this is what it is. That's what we do. I'm out. How about your boy? Ride really cool. Bada bing, bada boom. Uh, that's about it. Y'all have a great day. Talk to y'all soon.